good morning in today's session we will learn about ampere circuital law now if you can recall in electrostatics chapter we have studied about gauss law and using gauss law we know how to find out electric field at different points now here we can say that this ampere circuital law is analogous to gauss law in electrostatics and this law can be used to calculate the magnetic field due to any given current distribution now first uh, let us see the statement for this law i will write ampere's circuital law statement statements so this law states that states that the line integral of the magnetic field the line integral of the magnetic field around a closed loop around a closed loop around a closed loop is equal to the is equal to is equal to mu not times is equal to sorry mu not is equal to mu not times mu not times the algebraic sum of the currents or i can write mu not times the total current total current enclosed by the loop or enclosed by the loop okay so this law states that the line integral of the magnetic field around a closed loop is equal to mu not times the total current enclosed by the loop or enclosed in the loop now for example mathematically i'll show you how we can write this mathematically line integral of b into dl as mu not into i you know what is mu not mu not is the permeability of free space and i is current enclosed total current enclosed i can say accelerators total current enclosed by the loop now for example if you have current carrying conductors say I one, I two, I three, and now if you are considering a closed loop, something like this. So this closed loop is called as Amperian loop. We can assume this loop of any shape and any size, Amperian loop. So here the cu total current enclosed by this loop is i2 plus i3 so you can write line integral of b into dl as equal to mu not times i2 plus i3 the dl so uh, we can write here you know when we apply this b into dl as mu not into i so what is this dl this is the current element so to calculate uh, this uh, or to apply this ampere's circuital law what you can do is the whole loop can be divided into small first you know small small line segments 
infinitesimally infinitesimal small line segment of length dl so this dl is the small sm line segment and then you calculate what is the total length of this loop that will give you the line integral of dl line integral of dl is the total length of this loop now if you assume a loop which is symmetric in nature the calculation of b will become very easy later on we'll see some examples total i enclosed in this case will become i2 plus i3 the loop encloses i2 and i3 but not i i1 now in any case if it is possible to assume a loop in such a way that so i i will write few points which will help us to find out you know magnetic field very easily choose choose the loop called the amperian loop such that at each point of the loop at each point of the loop or each at each point on the loop either okay so the first point is either the magnetic field b b is tangential to the loop tangential to the loop and is a non zero constant constant but non zero so like for example if you consider a circular loop at any you know uh, given segment dl you know that the magnetic field will be tangential at that point magnetic field b is tangential to the loop and is non zero constant for example if you have a current carrying conductor sorry now if you assume a circular loop so at this point dl so when you take the magnetic field it will be tangential to that point dl is tangential to this point and non zero now this is current i so choose amperian loop in such a way that the magnetic field b is tangential to the loop and is non zero constant or you can choose b is normal to the loop or you can also choose a case or b is normal to the loop or other cases b vanishes now why it will become easy is now let l be the length of the total loop now let l so uh, so i can say you know the length of the loop the total length of the loop you know so l s this length so total length from here to here is length so let l be the total length of the loop for which b is tangential or i can write uh, sorry so let l be the total length 
part of the loop the loop is part of uh, be the total length part of the loop for which b is tangential you can consider you know as shown in the figure b is tangential let i be the current enclosed let i be the current enclosed by the loop then what will happen now according to the ampere circuit law line integral of b into dl so the total length of the loop is now dl or you know i can write b into dl is equal to mu not into i or this can be written as b into the line integral of dl is l b l is equal to mu not i now in our case the loop is a circular loop so if you consider the loop as a circular loop in that case l will be is equal to if r is the radius of the circle then l will be equal to 2 pi r now you know we can write you know if the loop is circular or has symmetry radius r then this equation becomes b into it will become 2 pi r is mu not i or you know to find out magnetic field b it is very simple or b is mu not i by pi r now this is a very good example uh, you know uh, to find out the value of magnetic field in case you know we have a good symmetry if a system with a symmetry such as for example for a straight line conductor for a straight line conductor carrying i you can assume an ampere loop of radius r of radius r of radius r and you can simply calculate you know at any point on the circle using this equation b is mu not i by 2 pi r and it also proves that the magnetic field at every point on the circle of radius capital r is same same in magnitude so if a straight conductor is carrying a capital current i and if you assume an ampere loop of circular loop with radius r the magnetic field at every point on the circle is given by mu not i by 2 pi r so this the result is that in an infinite wire the interesting several points can be observed the field at every point on a circle of radius capital r is same the magnitude of the field is same hope you understood this